Hey, welcome to Travel Tuesday Happy Hour, where we interview dope people doing dope things with one thing in common, the love for travel. We have a great guest lined up. Grab a drink. Stay tuned. What's going on, Travel Fam? If you ever thought about starting a podcast, check out Anchor. Anchor is free. Anchor will provide you tools to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor will also distribute your podcast to multiple streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Everything you need right in one app. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Over. All right, so I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try to do this right. Uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> How you yes. doing? Yes, yes, yes. You got it right. You got it right. But you, How you doing? I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm not even gonna front. You know, I'm not technically Muslim. I um observe a number of things, but um I'm observing. That's Ramadan. fine. I'm observing Ramadan uh with a close friend um this year. So it See, it's a definitely... support. It's a support that matters. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you know, I, I'm learning more about the different cultures. And I mean, that's the dope thing, right? Um, perfect segue for Travel Tuesdays, right? Um, yeah. Learning more cultures as you travel, you meet new people, and kind of respect how they how they um, how they uh, follow their traditions. You know what right. I mean? Absolutely. So, tell us who you are and what do you do? Um, so, my name is Janine. Um, I am a creative. Um, I would say I'm a social entrepreneur. Um, and right now, I'm just kind of trying to figure it, it all out. I'm definitely a career changer. Um, for the last six years prior to this past year, I was an educator. Um, I ran an alternative uh, public high school in Boston. Um, oh, she, learned- hold up. She said she ran. She ran. So she was, she's <laughs> was, a boss. It was a, it was a, <laughs> it was she's a alternative boss. high school program. Um, and we did a lot of dope stuff um, in that, you know, I was able to uh, connect with some other organizations and uh, community members to do some other things for the young people that they needed develop, um, you know, creating access to housing, jobs and different things like that. So um, I do like to I have an entrepreneurial spirit, but definitely uh, for the people trying to create resources and create access for people. So that's a little bit what I'm trying to do. And I think I'm trying to do that uh, with my art now uh, as a storyteller. Um, telling people stories, supporting um, entrepreneurs who tr- don't have access to certain resources, um, who want to build their brands, who want to like you know share their narratives. So that's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I'm about to come to you because we're trying to make <laughs> travel, you know travel Tuesdays happy hour thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Like you know you 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 blessing me with your presence. I really appreciate it. You well, know what thank I mean? Thank you. I'm I'm glad to be here. Um, I think you know with the with the quarantine happening, everybody's looking for you know how to how to access each other, how to connect. So this is dope. I put my little makeup on. I put my little hey, passport hey, on. Hey, look, I, I like ready. I make sure I put my lock sock That's on so I don't look all raggedy. You know what I'm saying? On. Like we look, look. I look. <laughs> I need to get. I see. I need to get like you. Make sure some of this looks right. You know what I mean? You know, we Listen, woman. this we quarantine got me looking rough right now, man. We got to do the home the home health. I got the little spray <laughs> bottle and I got to it. I was listening to the live trying to get myself ready. So I feel you. I feel you. So so what got you into traveling in the first place? Um, so I first uh, traveled. I traveled as a kid, you know, nationally. I would always go like with family to visit. Um, my dad's from Jersey, so I would always visit my grandma in Jersey. Um, my mom's family is from the South, so I would always go to South Carolina um, and visit family as well. Um, but when I got into college, I studied abroad in Ireland. Uh, I was a journalism student, and there was this program um, called the Institute for uh, International International Educational Institute. Um, and I went to Ireland. You know, I'm from Boston, and uh, 
black and Irish relations ain't, you know, traditionally been that great. Uh, no, <laughs> not, not especially, especially <laughs> not Boston. <laughs> so uh, when my hotel came into my mom, she was like, no, you ain't. Like, you ain't going to no Ireland. That's not happening. But eventually I did go, um, and I loved it. And shout out to the sister who was on um, before me uh, who said to connect locally because I was in Northern Ireland, which at the time was just uh, withdrawing from Brit from the British colonial rule from the U.S. Okay. Um, and so there was a lot of uh, talk about, you know, the new parliament and the different members that were going to be there. And I got to meet with a lot of underground uh, folks, a lot of people from the Sinn Féin party, a lot of people uh, who uh, model a lot of their movement after the civil rights leaders of the 60s. Um, oh, so cool. that was pretty dope, you know, to connect locally on that level. So um, from there, I caught the travel bug. I actually... Um, traveled to Tanzania after that and Ghana uh, for the mm. first time uh, and as a media student again. Uh, first time I was doing, we were doing the New Media Institute with the National Black Programming Consortium and uh, we were trying to demystify Africa so we were, you know, Black American students coming to connect with students who are at NAFTI uh and ghana and we were you know trying to make connections culturally between each other through media and tell each other stories That's um, dope. and so from there i was like oh man you know i was a print major at the time but i was like i hadn't put the camera down after that that was it. <laughs> you know that was it for me um so yeah from there you know i didn't travel much after college when i came home i became a road tripper um you know there's nothing wrong with a good road trip man like, <laughs> yeah. and that's the thing you know we had a couple guests in the past that said look you know if your first trip is to another state that's still leaving your backyard Absolutely. you know what i mean um so don't be confined to, to the space in your neighborhood right there's so much to discover um you know just be and i was with alone you know or, or bring some friends along and we would just um you know try new foods you know definitely uh have our 420 celebration. I, you know, I've been to Denver <laughs> a couple times. Listen, you listen, know, we need to schedule the trip. Gotta, Once yeah. outside opens up, we kind of missed out 420. <laughs> Once outside opens up, let's make this look for everybody on here that <laughs> celebrates 420. As soon as outside opens up, we need to make a trip. I'm a lightweight, I'm an edibles guy. It's okay. That's, that's what I, I, I know my I lane. I can't do the edibles. I can't do the edibles. I, I can't take, I can't not control my, my high. I got, I got. Oh, I control it. I control it all the way. You got to do it right. You got to get, unfortunately, the manufactured stuff. I can control it all the way through. But when I gotta it's over, we got to get together then. We got to definitely get together. <laughs> Let's make it work. Let's make it work. Um, So I want to segue into like, what really, Um, so today, what kind of motivates you, right? I know before it was, you know, an education and bridging the gap. Like today, what really gets you to be like, yo, I'm going to Ghana. And you pretty much did your own thing while you was out there. Yeah. So, I mean, you were living your best life out in Ghana. So <laughs> tell us what will get you to travel. What, what, what motivates you today? Um, You know, I'm not going to lie. I travel a lot to escape. You know, um, I think that life here in the States is hard at times. Mm -hmm. It's stressful. Um. I think we're subjected, you know, the world is subjected to, don't get me started, but I'm just go light, you know, subjected to capitalism. Yeah, yeah, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, so I definitely calling me. Um, I travel to get away. No I also um, am inspired to learn, you know, as someone who's trying to lean more back into a creative space. Um, I want, I like to see different things. You know, I want to be on different landscapes. I want to see different faces. You know, um, what I loved when I was in Ghana, um, I had some friends from when I studied 12 years ago who took oh, me wow. out. So that was that That's allowed dope. me to be able to kind of uh, move around a little bit. Um, so shout out to them. But um, you know, I love to like take pictures of people's faces, you know, see this, this could be your cousin, this could be your sister, you know, really, um, it's still about bridging the gap, I think, culturally, and particularly in the diaspora for me, you know, I want um, us as a people to, um, to, to connect more and to, in a way that we're really trying to build power on a global scale, so if I can contribute to that by um, helping people tell stories and connect through stories, then that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Cause I noticed you ain't put that camera down. You still had that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was trying to run with y'all. Y'all was. Oh no, no, not me. I'm a, 
I'm a regular smegler dude, you know what I mean? You have the dope picks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so so I'll segue to my next question real quick. So how did the coronavirus kind of impact life for you? Like, um, not just travel, but, like, everything else that you do? Um, you know, I think that I have definitely been appreciative of the time and space to actually – figure out how I'm going to roll out content, how I'm going to roll out projects, how I'm going to, um, you know, I'm into astrology. So I was watching this video and, and the astrologer was saying, you're going to give yourself a new line of credit. You know, you're going to give yourself um, a new uh, sense of credibility, a new, you're going to get to rewrite your story and, and sell that, you know? And so I think for me, the quarantine has allowed definitely that space to kind of, um, go in to in order to do that would be really introspective you know who do i want to become what message do i want uh to put out in the world um you know and how can i use art how can i use my camera how can i use media to do that you know um and the little unemployment check ain't been bad so i've been really chilling and <laughs> yeah man. And, and that's kind of what led me to doing the travel like initially i was just highlighting people for travel tuesdays but like people like you with dope stories of how traveling led you to um, being able to bridge the gaps between cultures, right? Um, I think that's amazing. You know, a lot of times we have the, um, you know, dur during the trip, there are a series of people that were hesitant to go into Africa in the first place because they had bad experiences in the past. Yeah. And I think we had um, not only hosts, but we had tour guides that made us feel so welcome that it wasn't what was portrayed by the, you know, the, the few that came to the United States and kind of put their nose down to us. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and so, yeah, like that's, that's, that's really dope. Um, so give us a tip. What's a tip that you would give either a first time traveler or not, or an expert traveler? Like, what, what is something that you would say um, is kind of like, yo, if anything, do this? Um, so as a sister who uh, definitely got her visa late and had to reschedule her flight, <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, you know, plan. You know, definitely have a plan for uh, where what you want to do, uh, where you want to go, and how you want to do it. And also, I think it helps you save money. You know, there's a lot of ways that you can travel. Tra I think I used to be intimidated by travel because of the cost. You know, where am I going to get the money? Um, and I think sometimes the startup, too, of getting a passport, right? You got to pay to get a visa to go certain places. You know, there are costs associated with it. But if you, you know, stick to a good plan, um, you can definitely make it happen. Um, also, again, echoing um, the sister who went before me, you know, stay locally, eat locally. Um, if there's a place that, you know, speaks a different language, try to learn some of the language before you go or definitely when you get there and honor that culture. Um, you know, not everybody speaks English, you know, um, and I think, you know, one way that we can decolonize uh, some of the way we communicate is by learning the local language. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my guy language uh, from Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> so I got it on on the uh, voice memo, so I'm gonna get back into it. But that's that's a big thing, um, and particularly, you know, uh, for people who are traveling to the continent um, and who are trying to reconnect. Um, I think that is important because our tongue was taken from us. You know, um, for those of us who don't, you know, being Black American, right? So, like, you know, there, there are, there's dialect, you know what I mean, um, that we have, that we share amongst each other. But as far as um, African language, you know, we, we, we're we missing that, you know, that is one of the things that keeps us disconnected is language. Um, so definitely try to learn the local language. Um, and take your meds, get your shots, you know, don't be out there trying to, freestyle it uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you I look I only took the required shot and the yeah. rest of it I was like you know what if I can survive Haiti I can survive anything and that's real so. you know I did not finish my um my uh malaria meds you know what I mean but I had a few in me so I felt like I was good but you know it's before first time traveler you know what I mean you yes want to be yes extra careful I'm sure you yes Montezuma's revenge is nobody's friend Right. So, um, <laughs> and I've had the TD. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Y'all can what that is. Y'all can look it up. 
I'm not gonna fully out myself, but I've had it and it's no fun. So you wanna you listen. Wanna no joke, but um, thank you. Where can everybody find you in the last five seconds? Um, at Janine of Nuance, that's at J A N I N E O F N U A N C E, and also at the Nuance Company, um, T H E N U A N C E C O M P A N Y, um, on Instagram as well as on Facebook. We are relaunching uh, the website soon, uh, but you can definitely find us there and you'll get the drop on the relaunch. So thank you for having me, appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining. I'll talk to you later, all right. Another dope conversation. Keep traveling and stay safe. Until next time, peace.